Welcome back to Make Workshop, where we demo tech tools and toys built for makers. Today, we're going to be looking at a 3D printer that's currently on Kickstarter. This is the Tycoon by Kaiwu 3D. It is a new 3D printer on Kickstarter right now. They did not sponsor this video, but they did send us the machine to check out. Let's go over the features real quick. It has a color screen. For bed size, we have 240 millimeters cubed. Super rigid and thick, robust construction, as you can see. Nice little carrying handles here. Wi-Fi connectivity, auto bed leveling, uh, power failure recovery, a filament sensor to tell if you run out of filament. Um, they're really proud of this linear rail for your x-axis instead of having uh, rods and a belt. Overall, the machine has all the bells and whistles you would expect from a modern 3D printer at a considerably cheap price tag. Assembling this machine was incredibly simple. It really is just a few screws and a few plugs that you slap together and then it is theoretically ready to go. Uh, I looked through the manual, which is pretty useless. The print quality is horrid. It's just a Xerox copy with washed out prints, but this actual whole manual is on a memory stick with the printer in full color so you can see it better. It's really probably not gonna help you out much uh, anyway, but it is there. What I didn't find was a slicer or even configuration files for a slicer. I did message them and ask them what the deal is with the slicer and they said yeah just use Cura or Simplify 3D. Hey you! Are you subscribed to Make Magazine yet? If you like this kind of video of projects and stuff to build, you are going to love Make Magazine. It comes out quarterly and it is packed full of tips and tricks, full projects that you can recreate, and feature pieces explaining how makers are changing the world for the better. You can find information on how to subscribe in a multitude of ways, digital, or get the actual print edition in your mailbox at the link above, the link below in the description. Now back to the video. I did notice an odd noise with this machine. Something to keep in mind when you look at the prints that I have off of this machine is that there was kind of a loud grinding noise. I think, I suspect, it is just the fan in the power supply here. Uh, I gave it the old tap test and it went quiet. Um, so I suspect it's just the fan and the power supply. So I'll probably be disassembling it after this video and maybe looking at what I can do to make it run a little bit quieter. Aside from that noise, it seemed pretty quiet, though you can hear the uh, probe, the bed probe, dropping. It's a mechanical probe and it dropped. It's not bad though, but if you had this, for example, in your living room, you would hear that noise uh, going on. One thing I did find was that even though they do brag about the color LCD screen, and even though I did see in one of the pictures on their website, there's a preview of the model that you're gonna print, for some reason, the models that I put to it, I only got their logo and not a preview of the model I was going to print. Overall, the construction of the machine is incredibly solid. I feel like I could stand on this, and it comes with handles already. I mean, I assembled this so quickly, and then you can carry it around very easily. The interface leaves a little bit to be desired. It seems kind of like a default skin that somebody just kind of slapped stuff into. I wasn't really entirely um, able to find things like maybe the Z height adjustment 
that I wanted, uh, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. It just might take a little bit of time to dig around and find. The glass bed seems to work just fine. Of course, uh, I always recommend for any printer to get a flexible bed for it. And they even recommend it, I believe in their Kickstarter, I recall seeing something about maybe that's an upgrade that's available is just to throw a flexible sheet on instead of the glass bed. I had no problem with prints sticking to it. That wasn't an issue. It's just that after you're used to using a flexible sheet, it's really hard to go back to something where you have to pry your parts off. So if you wanna learn more about this printer, uh, you can find a link to the Kickstarter and their website down below. Like I said before, this is not sponsored by them uh, and it's not a full review. It's really just a demo of a product. Um, and I really hesitate when it comes to promoting Kickstarters, but the fact that they actually have a functioning product that they were able to ship out means that, you know, they'll probably ship products out just fine. Uh, you know, there's always that fear that Kickstarters won't be successful, and I'm pretty sure that this one's gonna go through. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you liked that demo. We have some awesome gear on the way right now. I'm super excited. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it when we put it out.